Janae Johnson from Hello Well, and we are cooking today. I'm super excited because we also have a guest on today's show. With today's guest, I wanted to put in a bit of a forewarning. So joining me today is my coworker, Johnny Staub from Virgin Radio. And Johnny and I, we actually used to live together. But the reason why I wanted to warn you is because when we lived together, Johnny didn't exactly like to always wear a lot of clothing or any for that matter. So I wouldn't be very surprised if he shows up today not wearing much of anything. Forewarning. Oh, hi, oh, handsome. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll do this kind of hug. As it's you, more appropriate. As you normally do. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I see you decided not to wear any clothing today. Well, why change things if they always work the best way like this? I mean, this is honestly how you look the best. But I'm also really excited because I love Hello Well and I love all the cooking videos you post today and I wow. really, really wanted to make my favorite recipe that you made for us before. Okay, which is? The vegan Alfredo. Nice. Okay, yeah. we can definitely do that. Awesome. Ready? Let's get cooking. So today we are making a vegan, gluten-free Alfredo. Is it possible? It is possible. Whoa. And I'm going to show you. It's a very easy recipe. So the base of our uh, sauce today is actually going to be made from cauliflower. So you're going to need some cauliflower. You're going to need some garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, some garlic. We want some kind of like nut milk. Okay. So almond milk. Cashew. Cashew, soy milk anything like that would work, and some nutritional yeast, and then the pasta or pasta. Okay. Yeah, what do you say, pasta? I say pasta. Yeah. I, it's weird, because I don't think I grew up saying pasta, but I just became like, I'm a pasta person at age 23 and beyond. Okay, you're just like fancy now. Yeah, fancy. I love it. Well, the pasta we're using today, I really like this brand. It's a Go Go Quinoa, and it's an organic quinoa pasta. Mm. So if you can't have wheat, this is a fantastic one to use. You know what's cool too is that I, I think most of us have a lot of these things. I don't have the nutritional yeast, but a majority of these things are very, very easy to find in your own kitchen. It's a very basic recipe. Yeah. Pretty much anybody could make this. You are going to need a high speed, high power blender. We're using my new Vitamix today. <gasps> it's so beautiful. I know, it's like brand new. Oh. Um, but this is it, you guys. This is all you need. So let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Yes, bring over that knife. Oh and it God. cuts like a knife. Do you want me to cut? <laughs> yeah, so if you could start by um, getting rid of the, the green okay. stem. Okay, so yeah. you want this just like kind of small, like kind of rice? No, you can just cut them into like bigger chunks. Okay. So our first step, what we're going to do is we're actually going to boil the cauliflower. So you just want to... So is this okay? Perfect. You did a stellar job. Johnny, Hello, well. stop. By the way, do you like this apron? I was going to say, what made you decide to put some clothing on? Um, I don't want to get flagged. Like, I want this video to be able to be watched by millions. Um, and it's my man print. It has all men on it. My man print. You see them? I re These are some very handsome gentlemen. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so Johnny's cut up all the cauliflower, so I'm just going to throw this into the boiling water now. And you're basically just going to want to boil this until it's really soft. So usually that How takes, do you know when it's soft? Usually once the water is boiling, I toss the cauliflower in and I find it takes about a good eight to 10 minutes. Okay. But after about eight minutes, you can just like grab a fork, fork it. Fork it. Fork it. Yeah. And if it comes off your fork easily, it's usually cooked. You can also taste it. That's cool. Um, but we definitely want it to be more on the cook side than not because we're going to be putting it into the blender, so we want to make sure that it's like really soft so it blends up easily. I love talking about being soft and wearing almost no clothing. <laughs> Awful as a man, right? Right, gentlemen? Can I get a? So we've got the cauliflower boiling. Uh, while that's boiling, we've also got some water boiling to cook our pasta. And then right now we've got um, about two to three cloves of minced garlic. Do you always use the cloves and do it yourself? I do. Okay, because I, I have the stuff that's pre-made at home. I find with the pre-made stuff, it doesn't have the same flavor. Oh, okay. I know it's a lot easier. Way easier. Like the convenience is obviously so much better to buy. Do you guys know what Johnny's talking about? Like you can buy the jars of pre-minced garlic. Yeah. So much more convenient. My mom always buys it, but I always razz her because I feel like it just like... Well, this does smell a lot like more potent. Anything yeah. fresh is always going to taste so much better. So I've already done this ahead of time. We minced uh, about three cloves of fresh garlic. So. We're just gonna saute this on the uh, stove right now at about half a tablespoon of olive oil. So after our pasta, pasta, after our pasta, pasta is fully cooked, we're gonna drain that. Okay, so we have everything cooked, prepped, and ready to run. I'm so excited, Yay! I'm so hungry, I, I love this. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. um, can I get you to please grab the yeah. cooked cauliflower? No, there's, there's that for you. <laughs> Is this okay? Yeah, no, it's good. Thank oh, yeah? you. It's okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so now all we're going to do is going to, uh, we're just going to toss everything into our Vitamix. So your cauliflower, 
Don't spill. Oh my gosh. It's such a hello well video. Right? I've done that so many times. I'm not a perfectionist. We're just making it happen. That's what I like though. That's why I like hello well videos, Jenny. So now we're going to toss in a half a cup of almond milk. We've got a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Whatever that is. It's deliciousness. We've got our minced cooked garlic. Oh, it smells so Doesn't good. Doesn't that smell so yeah, good? I love Nothing garlic. like the smell of cooked garlic. Thank you, Johnny. No problem. Okay, so we need half a teaspoon of both onion powder and our garlic powder. So you put garlic powder and fresh garlic. Yes. Yeah. Wow. The more garlic, the Can't better. Can't wait to kiss my fiance later. You're gonna have the worst <sighs> breath. So then we need three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt. Mm. Okay. So we've got all of our ingredients in our Vitamix. We're now just gonna blend it up until it is fully pureed. I think that's probably good. Yum, it smells so good to me. Will you taste my from my stick? Please, let me have your stick. Just give it a taste. Oh my god, today that's so good. Do you um, like it? It tastes just like Alfredo. It's cauliflower though. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Can I lick the stick? Lick the stick, yes. So usually you don't need all of the sauce. This is quite a bit. So I'll just drizzle some on. Is this still like regular pasta where maybe the next day it might taste even better? Like where it soaks it up? I don't know because I always eat the entire thing <laughs> the day of. <laughs> We usually don't have any leftovers in this house because we like to eat. eat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure it would be fantastic the next day. Sometimes I feel nervous eating pasta on camera. Why? I don't know, because it's sloppy. It's okay. It's hello well. You can be sloppy on hello well. We encourage sloppy behavior. Mmm. Oh, so good today. And I've never really had quinoa pasta, like I said, so. Oh yeah, what do you think of it? It's really good. It's really, it tastes like normal pasta. You wouldn't even know, hey? Nope. There we are, where's our forks? Thank you, darling. Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna toss up a little bit of the vegan parm, because I think that's gonna be so good on it. Let's do it. What do you think? Yeah. Just a little bit of vegan Parmesan cheese. I'd like extra vegan par parm, please. <laughs> and again, this is dairy free. Dairy free. If yeah, you guys want to see the recipe on how to make the vegan Parmesan cheese, I will include the link below. Mmm. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, the Parmesan that. cheese is like Delicious. amazing. Delicious. And then a little bit of parsley. Parsley. A little bit of parsley. My Oma is like obsessed with parsley. Really? But you know what? The presentation wise, it makes it look so much better. That's the thing is like, it look takes at that now. a basic look at that. pasta, pasta, and it makes it look like bougie. Elevated. Yes. Bougie. It makes bougie. it look like bougie. This just went from an $18 pasta to $24. Because of the parsley? Because of the parsley. <laughs> Hands down. Okay, have a bite. What do we think? Final product. This is the final product. Final review. Okay. Mm. Are you getting some on your chest? Mm -hmm. On your mm. man fur? Mm. 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 Thank you for dressing up, by the way, today. Mm. You look beautiful. You're welcome. Today was so much fun. You liked it? I had so much fun. Awesome. It was great. Definitely give this recipe a try. If you guys like it, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up. And um, as always, we put out new videos every week. So hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when they come out. Subscribe now. Thank you for joining me. I love you. Mwah. Mm, garlic. Ooh. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.